Good evening, my beautiful Tovians from all over the world. Well, obviously, it's evening over here, so what time is it? I'm just gonna jog. It's 6.58 over here, so I don't know when you're watching this video, but whatever hour it is, hello. It's your girl, Tovia Ogun, back again. Of course, this is my Vlogmas Day 1 video, and I decided to start with just sharing this type of video with you guys, talking about the things I actually learned in this year 2021, now, I'm going to be taking with me to the year 2022 because, of course, 2021, I don't know about you. I'm talking about myself, okay? So, this year 2021 actually, actually taught me a whole lot of stuff. It opened my eyes to a whole lot of things, a whole lot of stuff, and, yeah, a lot of people. And I'm like, really? Is this it? I know every year we humans, we always have something we've planned for the new year. I know a lot of people are going to come out, you know, talking about the things they're going to wish for for the year 2022, the things they're going to talk about, like the new me, new year, new year, new me, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I know a lot of people are going to be going on with that. But mine is not just that. Mine is quite different. The thing is, the more you grow, the more you're learning, the more things are changing around you. The more you're like putting things in order and the more you're i don't know you're kind of growing like you're growing and you're learning so the things i learned last year are not the things i learned this year and i know i'm gonna learn new things in the year 2022 but these things that i've learned in the year 2021 are things i wish and i really want to share with you guys so yeah so the first thing i actually learned this year that i'm taking with me in the year 2022 is expect the worst from people I mean, <laughs> I know probably some of you might be like, Tobia, what are you saying? What do you mean by expect the worst from people? Not like expect something else, but the worst from people. Yes, expect the worst from them. Even from your best friend, from your lovers, expect the worst from them. So what do I actually mean? This year, 2021, I actually realized that a lot of us, we humans, including me we kind of expect too much from people people that are close to us people from our relationship our partners our families you know people in general we are expecting too much so i don't know if you guys noticed this year 2021 there was a lot of kind of suicides I don't know about you guys, but I'm a social media kind of person. I mean, I'm always getting myself updated. I see a lot of things every day. So a lot of suicides, a lot of heartbreaks, like relationship, breaking up, marriages, divorce, a lot of them happened this year. So not because these people are not nice or these people are evil, but I think the problem was people expect too much from whether their partners are or whether they were dating or whether the things happen from. So what do I mean? Do not expect too much from people do not expect if you're in a relationship that person has to be there for you 24 hours do not expect life to just be sweet to you people ask to be 100 percent sweet to you no do not expect too much from people rather expect the worst from them so i mean it's like preparing yourself for the worst i'm not trying to say just have the mindset that this person is going to break my heart someday or this person is going to hit me someday or this person is going to do bad to me someday no it actually means have the mindset that someday the worst can happen someday these people may not be there for you someday these people may not be 100 percent there to comfort you when you need them the most i mean i'm a human obviously there was some time i expected someone to be there for me when i needed them the most there was some time i expected people to be 100 percent there for me like you know but those things didn't happen so i kind of like learn to lower myself a bit i mean not lower myself lower my expectation from people so expect the worst lower your expectations from people you're living with you're in partnership with kind of calm yourself down and kind of expect the worst from them i mean don't expect too much from them because like coming to the heartbreaks part coming to the you know breakups part i believe most of these girls especially females who actually committed suicide once their boyfriends break up with them and the worst part is these people are very young majority of them were very very young and then the next thing they committed suicide after the guy left them i think because they expected too much from that guy and they kind of centered all their life
life all of their attention on that person that without this person i cannot live without this person there's no me without this person my world is over because if you don't expect too much from people if you don't have that mindset that you cannot live without somebody once anything happens you're like well that's life I'm moving on you move on but once you start expecting too much from there you're expecting always perfection best from there you end up hurting yourself that person won't even mind at the end of the day those people that committed suicide they are gone whereas that person is still alive enjoying their life you know moving on wherever they are moving on with so don't need to expect too much from people this is one thing i learned this year and i'm definitely taking it with me next year not to expect too much from people expect the worst from them i mean have it in mind that something can happen someday this is life things happen and yeah you just have to have it in your mind that anything can happen in any time any day so the second thing i actually learned this year that i'm definitely taking with me to the year 2022 is not everyone truly loves you i know i mean yes not everyone truly loves you what i'm trying to say is that a lot of people in this world in this life in your life that will tell you they love you they will do everything for you they can't live without you you're everything to them but the instant you stop giving whatever you're giving to that people you see them getting offended you see them withdrawing from you so what i'm trying to say is a lot of people claim they love you a lot of people claim they care about you a lot of people claim they are everything to you because they are getting from you but the instant they stop gaining anything from you that's when they start withdrawing from you so you see then that things change so what i'm trying to say not everyone truly or really loves you if you have someone in your life that you're helping in one way or the other this person is always claiming i love you i love you you're everything to me once in a while try to stop whatever you're giving to them try to be like you know what if this person asks me this thing the next time i'm gonna say no just to see their reaction it is good to do that that's when you will truly know if someone loves you or if they're just doing it because of what they are getting from you or if they're just kind of you know hurting because of what you're giving to them so that's what i'm trying to say sometimes test people test the people in your life who really claim they love you you know if you are the type that's always giving money to someone and then you want to test that person to really say if it's just the money they love or if it's you if they will be there for you when you really need them so it's good that you test them when i mean test them you don't want to test anybody with something that's precious to you okay i mean you something hurts okay because this year i have seen myself like helping people giving to people in the best way i can but when i like let me withdraw because i have my own life let me focus on myself the instant i started to do that i begin to hear or see or get different reactions and actions that were not really pleasing that were not really nice because i am not doing those things i used to do so you might want to withdraw sometimes from whatever attention for all whatever help you're giving to people and see if they truly love you the way they claim they do okay the third thing that I've learned this year that I'm definitely taking with me to the next year and I think this particular one is something that has been ringing on my head a lot okay and that is there is more to life than you see that we know okay there's more to this life so what am I trying to say by there is more to life than you think you know and that is there is more to everyone there's more to people there's more to your best friend your lovers your partners your family there's more to everyone than you think you know and i think i'm gonna kind of put a bible over here you see when the bible was so kind to us by telling us the spiritual controls the physical yes that's what i'm trying to say there is more to life life is not just about you waking up in the morning eating going to your work and do it wherever you're doing then you come back home you think that has all to life no darling there is more to life than that there is more to people than that there is more to everything you're seeing this one you're seeing right now there is more to this one. what i'm trying to say this one doesn't only just do camera doesn't just take pictures you can use it to go to a places you're not even in right now you can use it to see what is happening somewhere else. that is the same with human beings if you have a best friend you have a lover you have parents you have anyone in your life just kind of know there is more to that person that you think you know. 
I mean, that person can do the best for you. They can do the worst to you. They can do anything to you just to survive that you think you know. So there's more to everyone. Don't just think the person you're seeing right now is the person. Stop using this language. I know that person very well. I know that person. You don't know anybody. That's one thing I've come to learn this year. You don't know anybody. Don't go out there and start defending anyone with everything in you. Yes, defend to the best you know but don't go too far with defending anybody okay because there's more to life there's more to people there's more to every breathing stuff in this life than you think you know so try to give people the space they need sometimes try to give people the ease they need sometimes try to understand people when they try to talk to you hi over here you don't know what i'm going through once i finish this video you don't know what i'm doing once i finish this video so the same thing with the person next to you can be living with someone husband and wives you can be living together but yet your husband will be dealing with something that i cannot tell you the same thing can be happening to the woman you can be living with your man and you're dealing with a lot of stuff inside of you you are not sleeping properly because you're thinking yes there is more to people than we all think we know so when someone tell you i can't do this or i would do this or i would try to do it at this time sorry i can't do it i am busy you got to respect that decision because a lot of people have things they are dealing with don't think it is the same that is happening in your life that is happening in the second person's life do not think it is the same way you're feeling the other person is feeling no we all have things we're dealing with and try to respect people when they tell you they can't do stuff for you they can't meet up with whatever you want them to do because people are dealing with stuff okay try to understand understanding is really really needed okay so before i talk about the fourth thing there's something i want to talk here is i know a lot of you might be feeling told you you are speaking in more to negative way i don't think it's a negative way but i just think it's reality because trust me guys this world is full of evil than good yes that is good but the world is full of evil too much evil going on in this world and that means we need to tackle the evil rather than you know the good you don't need to fight good you just need to fight evil so obviously a lot of you didn't know what is good so that's why i'm trying to trash out the bad because a lot of bad things are happening more than good things you get me thank you so the fourth thing i've launched this year that i'm taking with me to next year is do not give people all of you at the start of your journey together or at the start of anything with anyone so do not give all of you even if you're capable of doing that please do not now the reason is the instance you say i can't the instance you're not giving all of that strength energy you know that you were giving to someone at the start you see them shifting away from you you will see them going away to find someone who is going to give that to them do not i know this one is hard but this is the fact it's better for you to start less and then grow stronger than for you to start stronger and then go less what do i mean if you're starting up in a relationship it is better for you to start little i mean yes you, you can be there for that person 24 hours yes be there i mean sometimes you gotta kind of calm down with the way you're going because i think the relationship part is the problem most of this part i'm talking about so i have seen people starting a relationship and you see everything you wish for in a guy would be on that guy once you start i mean he's dead 24 hours he's always calling you he's always testing you he updates you every time with whatever he's doing and then with time you see those things start going down you see that guy not always there anymore he's not testing anymore he barely even writes you he barely even communicate he barely even like you know all those things he used to do no longer do then you start wondering is it with someone else is something wrong what is going on i mean majority of them is not something wrong it's not like they're getting with someone else it's just life life hits them things happen like i said at the beginning the more we grow the more life is changing the more challenges the more things the more like the more you're getting so busier because you started as a child your parents were taking care of you then you got to teenage life and then you see that you're starting to like expand a little bit getting things done yourself and then when you become an adult oh my god so much busy life yes people need to know that part right now so that's what i'm trying to say don't give all of you at the beginning 
because you're gonna get busy and by the time you start getting so busy huh? or at the time you can't do the things you used to do you're gonna see your girlfriend or your boyfriend thinking are you seeing someone else what is going on the same thing with life with parents i mean if you can obviously help in whichever way you can go ahead and do it but don't overwork yourself and if you can't do it later i think the best thing you should call your partners talk with them make them understand baby honey sugar family <laughs> Life is hitting me more right now. Things are getting more stressful. I'm getting busier. So baby, understand it. And do not just assume the person is going to understand that life is getting busier for you. Or, you know, nah, nah, nah. People won't understand that. So it's better to communicate. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Make sure you do not give all of you at the start. But rather, let it be processed. Grow as you're growing. You're giving more. You're giving more. That's what we should try to achieve growth and not declining. Okay. The fifth thing I've learned this year is if people are given the possibility, obviously, love they are not given the possibility, but they try to provide the possibilities. Okay. So if people are given the possibilities to run your life, to run your happiness, to run your smile, a lot of them will do it. That's simply because I have seen it. I have seen all of this, this with my own eyes. I mean, everything I'm saying right now. Remember I told you guys, these are things I have learned this year. I don't know about you, but me personally, Tovia, I have learned these things this year because I've seen it all happening. So, and that's why I'm coming here to talk about it. Okay. So back to the, you know, reality. People will do just anything to ruin your smile and your happiness. So you want to be careful because not everyone truly care about you. Wherever you are, it could be your work, it could be in your life, it could be around your friendship, it could be around your relationship, it could be around your family, it could be around anywhere. Okay, Judas are anywhere. Or even they were in the midst of Jesus. I mean, among his disciples, there was a Judah. So they can be anywhere in your life. So you want to be very, very careful because anyone can do anything to ruin your life. People can go extreme just to bring down your happiness when you are happy i know most times when you're happy you can't just keep it within yourself you want people to know about wherever is working where it for you in your life which is okay it's normal i mean that's how life is meant to be but fortunately people are evil a lot of people obviously not everyone i'm not talking to everyone in this video though to a lot of people to some people to a specific kind of people that know they fall into these categories of ruining people's happiness <laughs> there's a lot of them anyway so you want to like be careful wash yourself wash your stuff that person you call your bestie your best friend your everything if they are giving the chances to ruin your life, you see, if it's better than theirs, they can do it. So again, back to my, I think my first tip or second tip, expect the worst from people. Do not expect too much perfection because when they break your heart, you're going to be stranded. You're going to be like, oh my God, I am nobody without this person. So yes, people do just anything. So be careful and watch your back. So the sixth thing I want to talk about is love yourself first. I mean, love yourself first. Love yourself first, okay? I mean, if you want to be happy in life, it has to begin with loving yourself. Be comfortable in your own self. Don't let anyone, like, make you feel less of yourself. That's one thing I've learned because, trust me, darling, trust me, whoever is listening to me, people change. People change. The same person that is going to tell you right now, baby, I don't like someone with makeup. You're going to end up and you see that that same person is going to end up with someone who loves makeup. Yes. So what I'm trying to say is people change. Do not go extreme to harm yourself just because you want to please someone, you want to please anybody. Just make sure if you're happy in your own self, you're happy with yourself. Trust me, that person will follow you. I have seen so many situations where someone will open their mouth and tell me that they really do not like this type of personality type of girls. But at the end of the day, you see the same person telling you, oh my God, I love people with that kind of personality. And you'll be like, my guy, you've been announcing to me day and night that you don't like people with that personality. What is going on right now? So what I'm trying to say is people change. Like people change. You need to get that into your score. 
people will change and once you know people will obviously change someday because change is instant the instant you get in your head that people will change for any reason for whatsoever reason that means you gotta put yourself first you gotta love yourself first because if you love yourself imagine you are with a guy the guy told you i don't like makeup and then you stop using makeup and then later the guy tell you i like girls with big ass so you went to do some surgery because your ass was not big enough and god forbid but you ended up breaking up with that guy and then you came across another guy who now said okay i love you i want to marry you but i don't like girls with too much ass because it's you know i don't know why <laughs> but maybe the guy will be like don't like someone with too much ass and then you have to start going through another kind of surgery or trying to make sure that your ass reduces again so that's the problem just make the person your way if you're happy in your own self make the person your way baby this makes me comfortable and if they can't bear with it they can't add that to you that means they don't love you that means they're not for you they go they were never for you so love yourself first be happy in your own body. Once you start being happy in your body, trust me, nobody is going to make you feel intimidated about yourself, okay? So, people come, people go. You got to understand that things happen. Nothing is permanent. If anybody leaves your life, it means they were never meant for you. And again, expect the worst from people. Don't believe that this person loves me and it is me only. They can love any other person, okay? Yeah. So the seventh thing I want to talk about, which is the last thing I want to address in this video is, I mean, this is something that truly kept me throughout this year because oh, this year was rough for me. I have seen the worst. I have seen the best. I mean, a lot of stuff I still rough currently, but obviously I'm over it. Okay. All right. So that being said, one thing I have actually learned and one thing you should do and that is in all that you do do not forget to pray even if you're muslim you're christian you're from another religion do not forget to pray wherever you believe in do not forget to pray okay in all you do do not forget to pray prayer is the best prayer is the key prayer will help you just believe and pray you don't have to dedicate a full week for prayer two minutes five minutes you can do it always pray that is the only solution the word is wicked don't say you just heard it here the word is wicked the word is evil people are evil people are greedy people will do just anything for money just anything to make sure that they are trending just anything to make sure that they are better than you yes and that means you got to pray only prayer can solve it okay your power alone cannot help you you need god you need prayer so that's all anyways guys so these are the things i mean there's obviously more but i think these ones are things you guys need to know as well these are the things that i've really learned this year and i'm obviously taking into nurse year to be careful around people not to expect money because anything can happen so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did you know what it is please subscribe thumbs up this video and leave me a comment telling me what you enjoy and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video happy vlogmas and bye